In recent months, cyber attacks and data breaches have been on the rise. But just how easy is it for a hacker to steal your private information? And how can you better protect yourself against fraudulent activity? The Heartbleed bug, the Target data breach, and the Internet Explorer exploit are just a few of the security breaches that have made headlines over the past several months. Stephen Legg, an information security officer for a large Midwest data center, says it's important to understand these attacks on public-facing corporations, where not only credit card information is stolen, but Google accounts, LinkedIn and Facebook profiles, and many other personal sites are tapped into. The reason those are concerns for people out in the world, you know, that just have Facebook, that just have Twitter, have their banking online, manage their credit cards and things, is because the security posture of those companies directly affects the security of their users and the data that they collect to do whatever functions that site does for them. For a bank, obviously it's their funds, but it's also their social security number, it's their name and address. All of those things are valuable and sold on the black market. But exactly how do hackers get a hold of your personal information? They create software that does a lot of the work for them. That's where you see viruses, that's where you see malware, things that infect your computer. You might see pop-ups, you might think of them as an annoyance or an inconvenience. But the real risk there is that those programs very often are designed to gather specific information and send it back to a home base where they aggregate and then collectively exploit or sell that information. And in a lucrative business such as the black market, your stolen credit card information, depending on your age and your credit score, can be sold dozens of times over, anywhere from 100 to thousands of dollars. So it's important to be aware of what companies are doing to protect your privacy. Companies' security posture really is a representation of how they care for their, their customers or their clients. And so what people should be asking themselves is, how is my data being used? How is it being protected? Who's getting it? Where are they sending it to? For a home user, understanding those things and knowing, okay, well, I like this free service. This free service is cool. Why is it free? How is it free? How does, how do, what, what is the cost of using that service really to me? Beware of pop-up advertisements and slow-running programs. This may be a sign that your computer has been infected by a hacker. But Stephen Legg explains that better protection against fraud can be as simple as purchasing antivirus software. Apply your Windows updates, apply your updates from Apple, make sure that you're getting the newest versions of those things when you can. Make sure you have a, um, an antivirus software that stays up to date. You'd Make sure you do regular scans. If you need to store credit card information, social security number, any, any kind of financial information, don't do it on your computer directly. Have that on some kind of an external storage media, have it encrypted, have it you know, under lock and key physically. But remember that while these measures are very effective, they do not guarantee 100% protection against fraud. So you should maintain awareness of your credit scores and always check your credit card statements before making any payments. For Shelby This Week, I'm Katie Schmatero.